hello guys welcome to my youtube channel i'm shreya so as you've seen from the thumbnail itself this video is about spi pure 2023 examination i am currently working in spi for past three years i mean i was selected in uh, po 2019 batch and i joined in january 2020 that was my intro and uh, moving on uh, on my instagram i received a few dms from people related to this particular examination they had some queries so i thought i should come up with a video uh, i mean in which i'll be discussing about this particular examination so this video would be in two parts in first one i'll be discussing about the notification i mean what all points are there and in the second one i'll be discussing about the tips and strategy that will be useful to you if you are uh, targeting this particular examination the notification was out on i think 6th or 7th of september and uh, the date that is mentioned for the preliminary examination it is in november mains exam would be in december and uh, the spi pu examination is basically conducted in three parts first one is preliminary examination second stage is mains and the third one is your group exercise and interview they have introduced one more part that was mostly popular in the private sector that is the psychometric test the prelims examination is qualifying in nature i mean you just have to get a desired cutoff that is set by sbi your final selection depends on your mains and your uh, round three that is group exercise psychometric test and interview on the basis of these two stages your final selection will be decided okay total vacancies are 2000 i mean last year i think it was somewhere about 1600 or something spi always comes up with 2000 or 2200 vacancies every year this is a single pattern followed category wise vacancy is for general it is 810 ews 200 540 for the obc 150 for the st and uh, for SC it is 300 the eligibility criteria is uh, on from 31 12 2023 a person must be graduate right I mean those who are appearing candidates they can also give this examination the only condition is that they should be graduate they should have their degree I mean either provis provisional or final by December 2023 this is the eligibility criteria or the essential academic qualification for this particular examination education qualification is from december 2023 and the age limit should be on uh, 1st april 2023 it should not below 21 years and not above 30 years this is the age limit and as per category uh, there are age relaxation examination centers are throughout india you can choose your own state it it doesn't have any connection related to your selection i mean it is in no way related to your place of selection you will be given the option for your place of posting once you clear your mains examination i think while in interview they will give you a choice form to choose your place of posting that SBI has 18 circles throughout India I mean the states are divided into 18 circles in SBI final result that will be out by February or March so I can uh, expect that the joining would be done by April and yeah there is a limitation on number of attempts also but it is just for the mains examination appearing in prelims is not counted as your attempt it's only for the main examination and for the general category it is four attempts i mean maximum you can give your uh, mains examination four times right beyond that you will not be permitted revise for other categories it is seven and for the scst and pwd candidates there is no limitation they can attempt as many times till their age uh, I mean to which age they are eligible to appear uh, they are basically four things you need your photograph your signature your left hand thumb impression and a hand written hand declaration that is mentioned in the notification itself in the desired I mean size or pixel whatever they demand you should have all these things along with uh, you while you're filling the form now they also have a pre-examination training that is for uh, the 
few categories they have a pre-exam training for SC, ST and OBC. I mean to make them aware about uh, the mode of the examination, the pre-exam training, I have been a part of it. I mean after my selection, uh, I went to a center to give pre-exam training to the candidates actually. There you will get to know about the interface of the examination that how the exam will be conducted and uh, how would be the interface, how your questions will appear. This is done just for the people to, who are uh, not much familiar or acquainted with online exam, I mean computer based examination. For that purpose, this pre-exam training is given. Now coming up to the final part of the notification that is the joining period training and the emoluments or the salary that a SBI PO will be driving. So basically once you join in your basic pay would be 41 and 960. I mean after that uh, wage revision the current basic for a SBI PO who joins in is 41 and 960. It has basically four advance increment. Overall uh, along with this basic pay you will be getting the DA that is dearness allowance and HRA. HRA is basically housing rent allowance. I mean the bank will provide you uh, the housing rent facility and if you are staying somewhere out of your hometown then they will uh, also have a concept of leased accommodation. I mean they will provide you a leased house facility to stay but in that case your HRA uh, would uh, not be given to you in your salary along with your salary right other than that it is CCA uh, city compensatory allowance then there is a PF obviously provident fund NPS uh, medical facility LFC so in your salary I'll explain you will get a basic pay then your DA HRA CCA if you are eligible for medical facility and even if you have someone dependent like if your parents are dependent on you or uh, you're married your spouse is dependent on you so they'll also be eligible for the medical facility or the medical treatment uh, reimbursement by the bank so these all facility a person will be uh, entitled to once he joins in as SBI PO. So overall uh, your salary might fall in the range of uh, somewhere about 55k your salary and yes along with this you will be given the transportation allowance also this is an additional allowance that would not come up in your salary but other than that you will be given a transportation allowance also i mean the petrol cost then uh, labor charges clean uh, uh, cleaning charges then newspaper allowance mobile allowance these all things you will be entitled to uh, if talking about uh, the joining so you will be recruited as probationary officer i mean a person who is on training you won't be assigned a particular role I mean uh, it has been three years since I'm in SBI so past two years I was uh, in probation so I was not assigned any fixed seat I was uh, attached to some section at some time then to the other section so this was the thing that uh, keeps going on for every probationer that you will not be given any particular role uh, as per requirement your controller can shift you to various various departments or various various branches training is designed it is of two years and uh, it would be somewhat a continuous assessment i mean your performance or your working will be assessed continuously and after a period of two years you will be confirmed as a I mean assistant manager because earlier there was a provision for getting directly as a deputy manager i mean scale two you will be called as jmgs1 that is uh, it is mentioned in the notification that is you will be a scale one officer assistant manager or you will be called a probationary officer but once you are confirmed you will be a confirmed officer in SPI and you will be called as assistant manager because uh, the bank has removed the concept of promoting a person after confirmation directly to scale 2 that is deputy manager once your selection is final you will have to fill a bond of 2 lakhs I mean it would be a bond with bank you have to sign that paper according to that you cannot leave the organization before completion of 3 years to get minimum 3 year service you have to provide if you resign before that period then you will have to pay a sum of 2 lakh to the bank even after your selection there is a minimum marks for 
uh, your confirmation that is after two years so if your a candidate fails to secure that minimum marks then he or she will be uh, discarded i mean uh, his candidature will be cancelled so you have to get the minimum marks required for confirmation there is i i already told you there is continuous assessments you will be given uh, you will be given some tests some assignments based on which your marks are evaluated and final score is out of 1000 marks you will have to score a particular marks that is set by the bank for your final confirmation talking about the exam uh, pattern as i already told it is on prelims mains and interview group discussion i mean group discussion interview and psychometric test they are in stage three prelims is the first stage that will be conducted in november the next is your mains and the final is your group discussion interview and psychometric test now talking about the psychometric test it is mentioned in the notification itself psychometric test is basically your personality test right it, it, it is uh, it is already being uh, conducted in the private sector companies and in the government sector I think SBI is the first one to come up with this even IVPS has no such psychometric test in its examination as of now so this is basically a personality test your mental level is assessed by the bank then group discussion you'll be sitting along with people where you'll be given a topic and you guys will have to discuss and personal interview is uh, it would be a panel of the high dignitaries in the organization they will be taking a, your interview in the phase one examination you will have english maths and reasoning 100 questions there would be sectional timing that is 20 20 minutes each for each section the number of questions would be 35 35 in maths and reasoning and 30 questions in english for selection for means examination the number of candidates it would be 10 times the approximate number of vacancies in each category for the means examination the paper that gets added up i mean reasoning uh, computer aptitude is there di i mean the maths gets converted into di and uh, obviously english is there the section that gets added is general awareness and general banking and the duration is three hours again it is sectional timing okay right after your objective paper ends up in means examination immediately your descriptive examination will start descriptive examination is of 30 minutes and uh, the maximum marks is 50 so total is 250 for the mains examination and the next 50 is for the interviews overall the exam is of 300 marks psychometric test i already told you it is for personality profiling just for personality profiling of a candidate the marks are allotted only for the group discussion and interview okay for group discussion it is 20 marks and for the interview it is 30 marks so while deciding the final cutoff the mains marks is normalized to 75 and the group discussion and interview marks are normalized to 25 making it a hundred and out of that hundred marks the final cutoff is decided for your selection so i think i have overall covered every single topic related to the notification in case if you have any queries then uh, please mention it in the comment section next video just i'll be posting in one or two days i'll be talking about what tips or strategy you should follow to crack this particular examination although i appeared uh, three years back but the thing is that some people have in mind that yes the level of the examination is increasing every day but you should keep one thing in mind examination level and the mental level of student are always in uh, you know coordination as per the examination i mean every year it keeps on changing the pattern changes then we have to modify our strategy in the next video uh, it would be basically useful to you guys 
uh, some basic things I'll be discussing that you must not ignore while preparing for this examination since the notification is out and uh, you don't have much time left. You guys cannot afford to waste your time now because the exam is very near, hardly one month is left. So keep preparing and uh, all the best to every candidate who is going to appear in this particular examination best of luck to you guys have trust on what you do rely on the sources that you have been following don't just keep on scrolling and you know getting confused among various sources just rely on what you have with yourself trust yourself and trust your preparation see you guys in the next video till then take care goodbye